Hey class, if you're following along on our career portfolio website playlist, uh, we are now on objective three. You're to add content to your contact page. Now that seems simple enough, but there are some cool bells and whistles and tricks and a little additional information that you may need to know, especially when you're adding it to your Google site. I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks to help you along. Okay, so on your contact page, it's pretty simple. You're to include some of your name, if you have a position or student or a career profile that you're doing like videographer, photographer, graphic designer, uh, you would put that down. This isn't a personal profile, it's a professional profile. In this example, I'd put my name, position, where I work, address, you can put a phone number. You may not want random people online having access to that, so you can opt to leave that out. Definitely put in an email. Social media links, I put them in this way. I have various social media platforms, so I put a second one. On my personal profile page, I included a LinkedIn profile badge. It's real easy to do, and I'll leave a link to how to do that at the bottom in the information on this video. Put information here. I have social media for Mr. Corsi's classroom, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, social media for Mesquite Student Entertainment and Broadcasting, Mesquite High School, and a little hobby site profile that I have for Dallas Fan Man. If you ever get any free time, feel free to check that out. In addition to this example, I also created an example where you can embed those same badges and social media right below into your Google Sites. Now it took a little bit of figuring out, but I found out how to do it. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do real quick. In Google Sites, if you're following along, you've done objective one and two using your Google Sites, it's really easy to include your badge information. Now I'm gonna leave links to resources on how to get this code embedded into your site. Follow these links and they'll show you how to do it. Let me double click on this. Let me get the code for it. This is how to include my LinkedIn. If you don't have a LinkedIn, I would highly recommend that you develop a LinkedIn profile uh, as soon as possible. Even if you're just a student and you haven't had a job yet, it's good to have at least have that as your professional profile. I follow the directions basically on how to get a LinkedIn badge. Basically, you have to get code to embed on your web page like I've done here and here so let me show you how to do it under insert on your contact page there's a little thing called embed embed is pretty cool because if you know HTML or you need to embed some HTML this is where you go to do it now you can do it by URL but I'm gonna go embed code and then I'm gonna paste the code from the tutorial on how to make the LinkedIn profile and click next. And there it is. And just click insert. And you can make adjustments. You can move it around wherever you want. Might have to readjust some stuff, but that's pretty much it. Same with the embedding your YouTube channel to get a subscribe button. I click on the tutorial link that I'll put in the comments, get the code, click embed, embed the code, paste it there. Click next, insert. Just that easy. I also have follow on Twitter, like on Facebook. I'll put the links on how to do that in the comments below. In addition, if you wanna get fancy, if you know HTML, it's not very hard. Uh, you could look up some simple codes online. I might even put a link to something below in the comments for that as well. If you don't want just plain font, you want to add a little bit of color, you can embed it through HTML. I have the word email in maroon. So in order to do that, added font space color equals quote maroon. And then after email, I have to close it out. This is basic HTML. I did the same thing for the word website. Now, if I want the word website bolded, I put the word strong, or you could put the word bold, but you have to close it out slash strong or slash bold. And there you go. Just adding basic text, you can just include a text box. 
If you want to put your email address and you're not sure how to do a link, type in your email address, hit return, and then it automatically makes a link for you. If you want to do a web page, you can either type in a word, my web page, and highlight it. Click on here and highlight it. Go back here, paste it, click apply, and it makes a link there. Or you can just if you want to embed the link to the website, you just paste it right there or type it www.coursey.us, hit return. It automatically makes links that way as well. You can add text, but like I said, you're very limited on text color unless you go under the embed and program it to be a specific color on your page. I hope that helps. It gives you a little bit more flexibility on the design and creativity of your page. It provides the reader ways to find you on social media. It's very good to have a professional social media profile. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, have that profile out there. You can have professional profiles and you can have personal profiles. Make sure that you only include your professional profiles. You don't want to have your vacation beach photos accessible to potential employers. Let me stress that to be important enough. Develop a persona, a profile for yourself. Start developing the social media through those platforms included on your portfolio contact information, on your portfolio page. It's very important to market yourself and get your profile out there. It looks professional. It shows you know your stuff. It shows that you're on top of the latest trends. Overall, it's just you want a job, you need to market yourself. I hope that helps. Take care. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.